Hey everybody, welcome to a very unique episode of uh, James's Man Cave. I just realized today that I, or in the last couple of days, I actually have a pretty good collection of stuff related to the uh, University of Hawaii. So we're going to take a look at um, a few of those items. One of them is this 93 University of Hawaii team card set. We're going to look at that in a minute. We're going to get through the rest of these. Uh, first one is of uh, Stephen Wright, who won a World Series with the Red Sox. In 2018, he pitched um, for uh, the University of Hawaii in, the, I think, around 2006, 2008, maybe. And uh, Colton Wong also played there. Obviously, this isn't signed, but he's a, a player of theirs that I have. Same thing goes for Chuck Krim, who I'm pretty sure I read correctly, won or was an All-American um, at the University of Hawaii, and then while he didn't, while he, uh, had a scholarship offer and ultimately turned it down to sign with the A's, Yolana Akau, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, I apologize if I am, um, won the Little League World Series with Hawaii in 2008, so cool addition to the, uh, or cool connection to the islands, uh, through, uh, that, the Little League World Series, and then this for the Pro Bowl, um, at Aloha Stadium was played there for a very, very long time, and Aloha Stadium, unfortunately, is going to be torn down soon, so I thought this was a cool card to have, and then same with this one, I bet most people didn't know that, uh, there, in 97, in April, there was Major League Baseball played at Aloha Stadium between the Cardinals and the Padres, so that's a really cool little tidbit to have um i don't know i don't know why i wish they would do some some more baseball outreach in hawaii because hawaii is a great baseball state and then this is an antique postcard of aloha stadium uh another and funny fun, interesting thing if you see that little seam in the middle these seats actually could be pushed out like that to form a more square configuration you can see the little outline right there for um, it to be more square so baseball could be played there. So cool little tidbit about Aloha Stadium. A lot of stadiums on the mainland tried to make that happen and it never did, but they made it happen in Hawaii. Uh, unfortunately, the stadium didn't really last as long as they probably would have liked and it's gonna get replaced. But uh, let's go through these really this really cool card set. Um, this one of them is, yes, I can never remember his name less. Murakimi, he was the longtime baseball coach at the University of Hawaii, and he uh, and now this, their baseball stadium is named after him. Um, and then uh, they had a back row. This back row was with them for many, many years. And not really going to get too much into each player, but we're going to just sort through all of them. And. Yeah, and, and also, fun fact, 1980, University of Hawaii was the runner-up in the College World Series, so nobody can say that they have no baseball history. They certainly do. You have to imagine it's tough to recruit, um, given the travel, and just I'm um, sure the recruiting budget is very, very tight compared to or compared to most teams because of how, how much travel there is, the distance, and... Other schools, I'd be unfortunately, I'd say probably have much more um, wealthy donors that pick up the slack. But you gotta love uh, the spirit of the University of Hawaii. And last couple of cards, and that's probably gonna wrap up this video. Uh, I hope everybody enjoyed um, this little collection that I've got here. And uh, everybody have a great day and keep collecting. Bye bye.